Legend Pam St. Clements on leaving Albert Square after an incredible quarter of a century. But now over to the hub where you have been paying your respects to the late and great Pat Butcher. Yes, indeedy Judy, we have been inundated with words such as legend for Pam St. Clements. And now, um, Sarah Barkley on Twitter, we will sure miss those earrings, RIP Pat. Frank Clark on Facebook, I haven't watched EastEnders for ages, but had to watch Pat's exit, and what a moving one it was. An amazing job, well done, Pam. And I really miss those leopard skin outfits and awful earrings. Now, Claire, we've got some star sign gossip as well. Now, um, Pam is a Torian. Um, was leaving the square a good idea? Well, and Pat may be at rest, but Pam won't be at rest. Because for Torians, they wouldn't ever do a job that they didn't love. So as soon as the enjoyment of something wears off, they have to go. But she's going to be, you know, putting down her tools of the trade with the earrings, but picking up some other tool, because acting is definitely still ahead for her. But a variety of projects too. So it's even busier than ever, but more variety for her this year. So it was the right decision. Perfect. I wouldn't mind a few of those earrings, though, would you? Well, I quite fancy those earrings. <laughs> They're apparently in at the moment. Now, guys, uh, Joanna O'Shea on Twitter. Bye bye, Pat. It's an end of an earring. Ah, oh, <laughs> now, but interesting. We're going to discuss that <clears throat> because that is a. The end of an earring was coined by you, wasn't it? That was, I think, that was your phrase that you mentioned. Yes, and then it was taken over by the, uh, by the crew and Castle wore T shirts on the. On the last and day. then oh. it was taken over by the entire online community and was trending worldwide on Twitter. End of an earring. So there you go. Love that. But now it's over to those ever so loose women. Oh my goodness me. I was just saying then you had the nation in floods mm. of tears. How does it feel looking at that? Strange. Does it? Um, yes, it's, it's, starting, it's starting to filter through now that that, that is Pat gone. Yes. Well, you said that would happen because during the filming, I mean, you filmed those scenes in November, so for mm. you, actually leaving Albert Square has been for a few months, but most of the crew and the fellow cast members during that time found it really difficult, knowing you were going, building up to you going, whereas you were quite strong about it. Yes, because it wasn't the end of Pat at that point, and I think now it's been transmitted. Uh, I think I think that's when my grieving can start, if you like. Mm. Yeah. Did you watch it? I did. I wasn't going to. I was going to watch it, record and watch. But people, I, I was I was staying with with friends and family, and um, they said, "Oh no, 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 we want to watch," because uh, I thought I'd be very very disruptive. I thought I'd be leaping up and going, "You silly cow! Why did you do it like that? Yeah. Why didn't you do that?" You know, and. You know, I was worried that I would just interfere with everybody else's watching. Well, so so having having watched it, um, and we had uh, we had Barbara Windsor in here, mm -hmm. your mate, um, a while ago, and she said she couldn't believe that that you died, that there was no comeback, that that you couldn't get back into it. Um, and I think there was almost a feeling of uh, disagreeing that that's not the way she should have gone. I think Barr probably felt the same as me. That uh, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I I, I didn't want the character to die. Um, because I felt, not just because I was being a typical actor and wanting a comfort zone, wanting a safety net to fall back on in mm. case, but also because I felt that a particular generation of characters in Albert Square was getting a bit thin on the ground. Right. So you didn't have that to call on. I mean, there's, there's, there's Barbara, if she, if she wanted to go back, yeah, she's still there. Mm. Um, but lose Pat and you were, you were losing somebody who was on a regular basis, sort of like... One of the, they're not foundation stones, but you know what I mean. Yes. Somebody no, who, she, I've she always really put it, yeah, I've, I've always put it like, people like myself, oh, characters like myself, are like the, um, the fruitcake, and all the people who do the sexy scenes are like the icing. Mm. Mm. And, you know, but we, do, we form the foundation, which is necessary for that. Well, no, you made the decision that you wanted to leave, I think, about a year ago, and you told mm. the team that you wanted to go. Mm. So once you, once you told them that, uh, so the, if, if you say that you would have liked to have left alive, uh, mm. rather than in, in the way that we saw, um, so when was that decision made and, and you couldn't obviously persuade them to...? Well, no, it wasn't a case of that. Uh, Simon Ashdown had this idea for the, for the character, which fitted in with her history of health, if you like, in a sense. Um, and, and they said, listen, this is how we'd like it to happen. Um, we think it's a, a fitting end and tribute to the character. And as far as I can say, it, well, I mean, I, I read the script and I mm. thought, oh, this is fantastic. It's every actor's dream. And I have to say, it also challenged me probably in a way that, um, that I hadn't been challenged. It was, it was moving, it was challenging, it was, 
it was a script I needed to get my teeth into. Yeah, yeah, and also the fact that she was surrounded by her friends and family at that moment as well yeah. was so fitting. And actually, I think that was what was so touching about it as well, watching it. I agree, Holly, because it, it actually, the, the script, the, the performances, the direction, it all turned out to be, an, uh, I think, a, a fantastic ensemble piece, mm. if you like. And oh. that's only because of everybody who it was... Just me. I mean, I, I was doing precious little, really. Well, not little in performance terms, but, you know, in, in, in the magnitude of this, this amount I had to do. Mm. But everybody was, was pulling in that. Everybody mm. was doing the most wonderful performances. It was fantastic. What made her what she was? The icon, that's that, that, that TV icon? Oh, the, I think the old... The woman who suffers. The woman who has suffered, but who comes through, you know, smiles through the tears mm. Mm. And, and, and has grit. Uh, been there, done it, got the T-shirt, mm. um, but still goes on fighting. And, and that and fantastic everything. triangle of, of Peggy and, oh, Pat and Pat and Frank, you know, that was an amazing time. Wasn't it really it? was. I think your favourite <laughs> time, you were saying. It was, yes. I mean, obviously, before that was the time when Frank and Pat got married, which yeah. was absolutely lovely and had the family. But, no, I did enjoy that very much. I, I loved that. I loved that trip we did to Spain where the affair started again um, and, and, and everything that happened thereafter. It was, it, was, it was lovely for the four of us, actually. It's quite um, incredible when you think that your days in EastEnders started off with, really, it was only ever supposed to be three episodes, wasn't it? Yes, it was initially, <laughs> three episodes, um, to bring in Pete's ex-wife, just to stir things up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And um, she came in, created havoc, and, and went off back to Romford or wherever she was living with Brian Wicks uh, with about 50 quid from Angie and a few quid from Son Simon. And that was it. And then more than 25 years later... <laughs> 2,183 <laughs> episodes. Is that what it is? If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So how long was it after you finished... Uh, this is 25 years, uh, nose to the grindstone, working, 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 and, and we know how that, that is. How long was it before you got a cold? <laughs> <laughs> About two, two, ten days, something like yeah. that, yes. Yeah. It wasn't a cold. Happened. It what? was every virus that... The medical dictionary <laughs> can mention. It was ridiculous. It's because you needed to stop that. And I've only just got over them. Right. Really? Yes. What are you going to do now? I'm going to have a break, which I should have had before, but, yeah. I, you know, a, a decent break. And yeah. I just want to, I want to sit back, take stock. Mm. Uh, I've got a few projects on the back burner, as it were, yeah. but I'm not rushing anywhere. I think it would be foolish. Yes. What's the point? In, you yeah. know, I might just as well have stayed put, really. Costume well, drama. Oh, yes. Oh, I'd love costume drama. I'd love to do some more wildlife work, which yeah. I've done quite well, a lot of. Well, come and tell us about it when you do finally decide that you're ready to come back. I certainly will. You thank are you. always welcome. Yes. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, that's it for today on tomorrow's show. Corrie's Catherine Kerley, Barry Manilow and Robin Cousins and Hustle's Matt D'Angelo are here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.